Professor Fatak suggested that I should talk a little bit about Vega and Systems just to give you an idea of a, a typical uh, startup company and where I am somewhat bringing in different experience from Roshan and uh, uh, Kashyap is that uh, now we have the incubation which is you know uh, all the processes are well uh, set and you know there is a screening for you know uh, getting into the incubation there is a wait list for getting in and you know and the, you know but but the problems are uh, still same you know there is a lot of uh, uh, the, the challenges are very significant. Another way uh, I differ from their experiences is uh, I am a faculty at IIT. So, so some of the questions uh, you know uh, uh, during my informal discussions with the you know members here is uh, you know how, how does it work uh, you know while being having faculty and starting something and then there are some unique challenges which uh, are there because you are a faculty. I mean always feel that okay being a faculty it's going to be easy compared to being a student uh, this thing but the problems are of different type. So I'll you know uh, go through that but before that I'll just quickly give you a overview and some details about Vega and uh, so so this is a overview of Vega and so I'm the founder and I uh, I've been a faculty in electrical engineering department. I joined IIT Bombay in 2000 right above uh, these guys were you know uh, starting uh, their incubation uh, but the major influence that I had was uh, you know in late 90s I was working in Bay Area you know after my PhD I was uh, you know in, in the US working for few years and uh, you know at that time it was a crazy the, the craziness which was in the late 90s I was in the valley and everybody was talking about startup everybody wanted to be a uh, you know joining some startup or this or that and uh, you know luckily I came back before the bust uh, this thing but you know nevertheless all that uh, you know, uh, uh, you know the, the, the whole atmosphere was charged up and it rubbed uh, on to me to some extent. So I was also you know having the idea okay I am going to start something so I will go join IIT but then see what, what do I want to do you know. Uh, and uh, you know I started my work uh, I, I was uh, in charge of communication lab uh, we had certain you know we were looking at uh, quality of service that means you know different uh, types of applications going over your data network. How do you say for example if you have voice application then voice is an application which is delay sensitive those who have you know heard uh, you know satellite phones there is an echo etc that comes or you know you need to have certain bandwidth otherwise the quality would not be good and when you have video you know the bandwidth requirements are more etc. So as you have different quality of uh, you know uh, or different applications requiring different quality going over a converged network uh, the way you set up the paths, the way you give the resources, how do you allocate that turns out to be a non-trivial you know uh, problem and we had some research work and then I filed for patents and eventually got uh, you know international patents on that but that led me to thinking that okay I should you know take it further you know start a company and actually commercialize it. So not stop at a point where I am publishing some papers and among the peers they are discussing then you know uh, fine it, it gets dropped uh, you know or somebody else you know down the road may use it but uh, you know you are still far remote from it whereas when I had come you know I had a industry uh, you know experience etc. So very much uh, you know interested in making a real difference rather than producing something that goes in only as a paper okay or a theoretical contribution etc. So that led me to you know starting you know to plan for uh, uh, the startup and Vega and Vague is high speed and IN uh, is routing these are some truth. So we are in the high speed networking or routing space and you know we bring in something which is a unique in terms of our technology you know uh, for which we have now secured the uh, IP rights. Uh, so it's a powerful path optimization or network resource optimization technology that is there and uh, you know and as as uh, you know any uh, startup does you when you do a market uh, research uh, you want to act 
target opportunity which is large. And again, you know, there are few tick marks when you approach an investor or uh, when you are, you know, looking for getting uh, incubation, etc. You know, uh, the viability of the business depends on is the market opportunity large? Do you have customer traction or understanding? Do you have a product which is unique? Are you positioning it? Uh, you know, is there some validation? in where the way you are positioning do you have the team you know and then do you have the uh, you know wherewithal to survive that means do you have funding and you know uh, but uh, all those tick marks and objective uh, metrics should not be you know superseding the the person behind it like uh, you know uh, said that the passion is the most important see that you know if you come up with a set of criteria which have to be met for you to uh, admit a given company into an incubation almost every company will have some way of uh, i mean some exception or the other you know so you have to go beyond i mean it's good to have a you know uh, uh, a rules or you know some policies to you know admit companies but nevertheless you have to finally realize that there are going to be exceptions and exceptions is a norm rather than you getting companies which follow the norms that you think are the ideal okay so that is one thing and uh, when uh, you look at us whatever successes or struggles that we have had but we were exceptions on multiple uh, uh, you know points so so it can't be said that there is a one size fits all type of criteria that you can apply to the this thing so just to uh, a little bit tell about our product it's a you know it's a software product uh, software product again has a big advantage that you know you don't need capital expenses etc but then it has a disadvantage whatever money comes in you you don't have capital expenses it's mostly goes in salary charge with i because of revolution so so there, there are pluses and minuses it means you know you uh, if you have a manufacturing setup you can get, take loan against it but when you have a software or it type companies pretty much you know either you get revenues from the paying customer or you are you know you have to be looking for funding till you are self sufficient okay so so that, th those things uh, have to be looked at whereas uh, when you go with companies which are in the traditional fields maybe you know you can you know capitalize some of the equipment etc and get loans against that so uh, now looking at our team again one of the criteria of uh, our incubator was okay how strong is the team and somehow being iit is uh, faculty is kind of a you know does does uh, the person know market does he have uh, you know industry is he industry savvy you know all those question come up ignoring that you know because iit faculty the tag is larger than the person so you are not looking at the person behind the tag that the person has industry experience person has industry contact this that another problem is when three or four uh, students start you think the team is three or four when iit faculty starts with two or three students the team is of one you know you don't count you know and that is a uh, you know that is a something that you have to keep in mind because somebody with 15 20 years experience then however way you you know uh, present the team members unless you get other guys with 15 20 years experience joining you it always looks very one sided okay or my wife for example has a extensive business uh, you know background uh, uh, you know I won't go into the detail but again oh that's a husband wife don't count that so so what happens is there are flags that come about which are you know you have to look beyond in the sense that you know yes those flags are there the entrepreneur would have some way of you know overcoming that or giving the explanation how that is you know not really a handicap another thing is when you have a high tech product startup invariably you know when you look at the uh, you know technical experts they are going to give a mixed opinion because it becomes very difficult to know really is there a, a real need in the market for 
TLS which is the convergence of you know voice video data onto the you know sing single uh, network. Uh, is there really a need something which is you know optimizing that the performance etc. Uh, is uh, can a some uh, so, uh, can a small company like this uh, be able to penetrate uh, one of the most difficult markets which is markets you know the buy cycle is very long you know when you are selling you are not really you know selling to you know one or two people but actually you know different uh, groups get involved in the decision making and it's a enterprise level buy cycle which is a you know a very extensive and can a small company go through that see there your iit brand helps you a lot because it opens a lot of doors when you are going to say a, a one of the biggest uh, you know telecom operators uh, there you use the brand but nevertheless, you know, when you are doing some due diligence, is there a market? How difficult is the market to penetrate? So when you have a high product of this type, the, the flags are going to be there in the review process that, you know, yes, it is a difficult market. Yes, there is a lot of uncertainty. But then you have to look at the person or team who is, you know, putting that forward. Are they going to have person? to go through to take it to the next level. So, so somewhere, you know, the processes and the, uh, uh, the results have to show some flexibility. And IIT Bombay has been very good at that. They have all the processes, but then they have the way of, you know, actually having the discussions on what are the, you know, so, so if you are admitting a company, what, what could be the challenges and how are the team members looking to overcome those challenges. So, so uh, you know, coming back to the, this thing, uh, what Roshan said, it cannot be something very rigid. It has to be somewhat flexible and subjective. And, uh, you know, just, just to, you know, show you those tick marks, uh, this is, you know, I didn't have enough time to, you know, kind of condense it down to small this thing. But what we figured out that this is a very large market, you know, the, the convergence technology that we are building, uh, you know, is widely adapted. So our solution could fit in to uh, a, essentially a global market. And when the market is large, if you are, you know, even if you can make 2% or 3% of market share, still it, it has a potential to be a big company. So one of the reasons, uh, 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 one of the, you know, important factors that a funding agency be looking for is the market large enough okay uh, for you to enter and is market you know already crowded with existing players so so essentially uh, when the business plan is coming you want to actually evaluate if it's a emerging market and the market is large enough so that you know the the company can you know even if it makes some mistakes you know it has time to grow and potentially lead Market. So, so that is, you know, uh, uh, without go going into the details, I would like to say that the market is estimated to be, you know, something, you know, the uh, MPLS or what this convergence technology, the services going over that is worth $200 billion enterprise services that are going. So it's a very large market, whether it's voice, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, uh, enterprise that are uh, there all those uh, constitute a very large market and that is what Vegan is addressing and you know to tell you about our product you know it's a you know in simple terms uh, simplus is our product it simplifies the ls this is the conversion technology that is there that is used universally in the core networks okay to have voice data over a single converged network Okay, so uh, you know uh, whether it's your wireless services, whether it's your uh, you know internet uh, that, that is going there, or whether it's your corporate telephony, it all goes in a single network supported by MPLS technology. And what we bring in is how do you simplify the operation uh, management uh, or bring in efficiency and enhancement in the performance for such a, a network and uh, what our product does is it does you know first understand the network 
you are looking to address so this is in a nutshell what our company does this is the product that we have and now where we are at we have developed the product and we are currently testing it in a large telecom carrier and going through the you know the the trials and the uh, you know procurement negotiations etc so uh, you know from the startup perspective having the product ready and there is a customer which is going through trials and then customer signing on the dotted line is the critical phase that's where the company has you know reached its first milestone many times even i made that mistake that you think the milestone is getting some funding etc that is not the milestone the first milestone is when the uh, your product sells commercially again a product company is different from a services company services company you know the lead time before you start generating revenues is rather small you you have to demonstrate that you have a knowledge or domain expertise in a given area and then start looking for you know bidding for certain contracts etc and provide uh, you know those services to your customers so your revenue start kicking in very fast if it's a services model another thing is then you are building things which are you know tailor made for that given customer whereas a products company the the idea is you are going out on a limb you uh, you know you have a uh, you know idea as what is required in a commercial world okay you are going ahead and building it until you build it to a level where you can start demoing the, at least the rudimentary capabilities of that you can have a meaningful customer interaction although you would like to have customer interaction from day one it is very difficult to keep interest of the customer if you don't have anything beyond powerpoints you can go through one or two meetings the customer uh, potential customer would say yeah you know that sounds interesting this that come back when you have achieved a certain level of maturity okay so that is where you know the uh, uh, a services company can show you a contract very easily a products company has to uh, take time building it to a level where the product is uh, you know at least at a demoable level before the customers can start engaging in a meaningful manner okay uh, and that is the time you know you have to be looking for you know what is the uh, the business value that is there you know so so one of the things is with all these you know challenges that are there whether there is a need for such a product uh, is there really a market there and is this company or is this team capable of uh, actually breaking into that is a big question mark and those were raised when we uh, you know tried to enter uh, iit incubator as well and the, of the good things is just because i am faculty i cannot bend rules the evaluation had those you know question marks and we had to address and luckily you know all, so so as such we started in november 2005 but we were given what is called pre incubation a small uh, room to you know validate what we are doing till a proper incubation is given and finally we were given a uh, proper incubation in april 2006 and one of the you know the uh, uh, you know a good uh, you know successes in that period is uh, we won the uh, uh, india uh, you know the venture challenge which was sponsored by draper fisher jarvetson a reputed vc firm in us and tie and this is again this is not a, a business plan competition there were only business startups which were you know having existing operations which were participating in it so most of the time you know uh, many of the uh, student business plan contest like roshan pointed out not many entries are serious they are more ideas thrown at and you know certain due diligence whereas this was you know unique uh, in the sense that they were all existing businesses less than 5 year old and there we you know out of uh, 125 startups with three rounds of uh, you know screening and final uh, you know uh, about 10 finalists we finally won the entire event and uh, that actually got us in, into the incubator because this was a a true validation of our business value proposition 
which was validated by the industry experts, uh, reputed VCs from US who understood the, uh, you know, the field as well as, you know, the uh, 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 existing entrepreneurs in India, you know. Uh, so that that helped us, you know, get get the incubation. Uh, also, winning that we won the 35 lakhs of seed funding from DFJ and Nadathur. So that got us, you know, effectively a partner. So uh, uh, so many tick marks which were, you know, uh, at the business level, which were, you know, uh, brought out in the pre-incubation state, got automatically, you know. Uh, kind of answered through that and that is so so uh, what i would like to point out is yes the uh, the the rigor is very high especially when you have so many companies coming in you know you have to keep the uh, you know the barriers high uh, another thing is just because faculty is coming you should not be changing the rules of the game whether it's student team or faculty involved it has to be still same but nevertheless you know uh, the the company or the team which is persistent in their efforts they can overcome that so give way of you know addressing some of the you know limitations that may have been brought out okay and this is the way we addressed and you know we came out uh, with flying colors showing that yeah we deserve to be and you know uh, we started our incubation uh, at iit bombay and uh, you know not just that you know later on uh, we also won the Kenan Partners is another uh, US VC firm. So we won that uh, Thai Kenan Partners uh, uh, Entrepreneurial Challenge as well. Uh, again, there were 100 plus startups uh, uh, that were there. Uh, three rounds of uh, elimination and, you know, jury was uh, industry experts, uh, uh, Thai uh, experts, uh, as well as some, uh, you know, VCs from Kenan Partners. And the person you see, you know, Pramod Basin was uh, again a jury member. He is a CEO of Genpact, a multi-billion dollar uh, company. So idea is, okay, business value proposition has to be validated at, at certain level, okay. Again, uh, you know, we also over time got validation of our product and technology. Uh, this is uh, something that we received as a, you know, there was uh, some uh, innovation pioneers challenge which was conducted by Intel and DST. Uh, government of India and again uh, we had a innovative product and technology award there uh, uh, la just last year we also received US patent on the technology so idea is you know well it takes time it takes long time for company to mature especially if it is a products company in a high tech uh, you know space uh, another thing is uh, you know when I was starting off or in my first six months or a year, even my good friends who knew a lot about the fields that I was uh, looking to address, they had a lot of questions. In, in fact, they were all saying it's not viable. So, the, the, you know, as an entrepreneur, you realize that if you meet 20 people, guaranteed that 19% would feel that this is not viable. Okay, what you are proposing. Uh, you are lucky to get one uh, in those 20 who says, yeah, that's a good plan and uh, this thing. So, so, you know, so although you are going with, you know, in our case, uh, you know, we go with, uh, you know, blind, uh, you know, some uh, validation of the business plan, etc. But it's very difficult to come out with a, you know, uh, uh, evaluation which says, ah, this is the best and, you know, uh, you you have to, I, I mean raising flags in a uh, business plan is very easy addressing it takes lot of effort so you have to actually side with a entrepreneur who is going to be persistent in uh, his her efforts to address them over time you know and that is the way I would think the criteria should be I mean although the processes are needed uh, you know but the processes have to be very flexible. Another thing is you have to look at the unique, uh, you know, conditions in India that it is very difficult to start a company, uh, get funding because we don't have good angel networks. 
and uh, coming to angel you know uh, after dfj uh, which uh, were the seed investors uh, you know uh, just last year we received funding from rakesh mathur so the common uh, link with uh, you know the the fellow panelist and that is again a, a great uh, you know achievement uh, this thing because uh, that shows that yeah we have been able to convince at least a couple of investors that we have a viable business plan but finally the validity of the business comes only when our revenue start ramping up see at that point nobody can question the the proof is right there yeah, whatever awards you win whatever you know investors you get the question mark is going to stay with you even if kleiner parkins are your investors the thing is when you are really starting to make money on the uh, that means you are making profit or the first step is when you are making revenues that is the only time uh, you have the first level of business validation okay but that is that could be very long okay uh, if you have a say travel portal or something you can be in business very quickly but then the the entry barriers are not there you know there will be you know potentially so many other competitors that can come in okay and then the big muscle power who can uh, spend lot more in the brand building would be the winners rather than who has the best website okay so so that means uh, uh, startup uh, uh, you know success there is really no easy guaranteed formula if you pick up a business model which is seemingly easy then the competition can kill you very easily because then others will also feel that it's easy to enter and how do you distinguish from somebody else and if you pick up something which is you know hard to you know build and hard to demonstrate to somebody uh, like i was having hard time how do i tell what is the product and what benefits does it bring but finally you are not convincing to general audience you are as long as you can convince to your customers that means in my case if i can go to telecom operators and tell them what value i bring that is where i you know uh, uh, i am succeeding as a business person so th you have to start looking at uh, the business plans from that perspective that every business is not going to be so easy that i have this uh, pink umbrella that i can use as a parachute that anybody can you know uh, appreciate it's not going to be like that however you know you start thinking make it you know simple yeah i made it simple making core networks efficient and effective yes it's a very simple thing anybody can appreciate that but how do i do that you know that's where you know you have to go into lot more details so some plans require lot more details others may not you know i can always you know uh, bring a business plan that i'll make a matrimony portal or you know or a travel portal this that but then the execution is difficult you know it's none of the businesses are easy if it was easy then why is uh, nobody trying that and already have uh, made money so uh, that that is the you know kind of uh, you know message that i thought i'll convey